Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Olayiri Adamola and I post videos about child games, play and activities involved while growing up. Why these child games? As you can see now that all the games played during the 90s are going into extinction due to technology. And the sweet thing about all these games is that you can enjoy them from the comfort of your own. And you need zero cost. That, that means no cash to get involved or start playing this game. So I would like to introduce you to my partner to shed more light on these games. Thank you. Hi, my name is Pedro. So I was talking to a couple of new generation guys and I listened to them as they talked about the old generation, how that they didn't enjoy themselves, that they were boring. But trust me, here is a new channel. We're going to be linking you guys with the things that were done in the past, the games that were played in the past, how the old generation of the 90s and the early 2000s enjoyed themselves with games, creative games, that the new generation would find very hard to relate to. Here is a new channel for that. and. Um, to stay tuned as we teach them out. Talking about games and creativity in the 90s and early 2000s. Games in the 90s and early 2000s were more for creativity than the digital. It was analog. But like now that we have digital games all over the place, it was more of creativity. It can be modified. Like you can have a game being played and someone comes and introduces something new. And it was much of um, fun and creativity, much more than now that it is all about the digital. Everything is been programmed. And um, I think it's one of the major players. Thank you very much, Petro. It's getting real and interesting. So the first game I'm going to introduce to us. I will play this game in 90s and early 2000s. This game is the most popular sport in the whole world. This game is called soccer or football. So I'm going to walk us through how we can make this game and play them from the comfort of our own with our siblings and friends. So at the end of this video, if you enjoy and love it, you can comment to so get a sheet of paper like this one. Or you can get one from higher education or a calendar like this. Can you see? Calendar. Depends on how big you want your soccer pitch to be. So Getting the paper like this, I'm going to draw a sketch of a book pitch on it. So, you can draw a line, you can draw a line. But while doing yours, just get a ruler and a good biro or pen to make it accurate and precise. So, like that. Drawing a soccer pitch like that. So this is the center line. Center line. So you can draw your middle circle. Mm -hmm. Like that. Then draw your box into. Your boxing team. Your boxing team. And that. So the name the new figures. Just a rough sketch of your table soccer. Can you see? With all the 22 players. So we are now going to play the game. So we are going to use this one I sketch on the calendar. Can you see? We have a bigger pitch now. 
can you see we have a bigger pitch so i'll be showing you how we are going to play this so now i'm going to show you how to make the go post for the table soccer That's the good post for the table soccer. Okay. So I have an opponent here with me. So first of all, I go to make our ball by rolling the paper. Go to make make it roll it. You can use bigger ball or small ball. Can you see? Well, let's use this small ball. Like that. So, we are going to be using the case of our biro. What we are going to be doing is that we use this case to blow the ball your next player that needs to pass the ball around and shoot into the goal post. So let me give my opponent the opportunity to start. Alright, are you ready? Yes. Are you ready, Strike? Yes. I'm going to show you today. Yeah, start. Out of play. Still out of play. Oh, oh, no. oh shit! Oh my god! Open it fast! Alright, no shit, no shit, no shit. I'm still in the game. It's not over, it's not over. Okay. So what we are doing is that the ball must be on the player before you shoot. So I'm going to pass. Okay, I'm going to pass. Okay, I'm going to pass. Okay, I'm going to pass. Why am I doing this? Okay, so there's another way to play this table soccer, which I enjoy best. So this one has a lot of rules while playing. You need, let me have that, you need two Pyro covers for the home and for the away, and you need a button. This is a button, you need a button as the ball. So, some of the rules are the one rule is that when you are in the possession of the ball, you just play this 
twice. One, two. Then you can play shots. Can you see the boys on my player? The blue to the blue. So you can play your shots. Oh! Can you see the importance of putting this barrel as the keeper? That is the importance of putting this barrel as the keeper. Let me see. Okay, let me play on that. Oh, that's very cool. I'm trying to play on that kick to show you. Okay. Here's another kick. Can you see that's a goal? So and there is another cheat. Why play this game? The cheat is that you can support the ball with your hand. You can support the ball with your hand. Like this one. So that cheat makes it very easy. For you to score, can you stick on my player? So you can play your shots. No, that's a good catch. Can you see? That's a cheat. That's a cheat. You are playing twice. Once you are in possession, you are playing twice. One, two. Once you lose the ball, once the ball is on your player, then the opponent will start to play. Then the red is your opponent. One, two, three. Thank you. 